Hey there, caring kids, and welcome to Storytime. Hey, last week, we heard all about how God's people forgot about him, but they turned back to him as well. And when they did, he gave them a leader named Deborah. Unfortunately, the Israelites didn't stop forgetting God. So today, we're going to hear another story from the Beginner's Bible, and this one is called Gideon's Battle. God's people kept disobeying his rules. So God allowed their enemies to take all their food away. Again, the Israelites turned to God for help. Again, God answered their prayers. God chose a man named Gideon to help his people. Here's Gideon. God sent an angel to Gideon. You are a mighty warrior, said the angel. You will save God's people. Gideon said, But I'm from a family that isn't rich or important. And then Gideon prayed to God, I need a sign from you. I will put some wool on the ground. Tomorrow, if the wool is wet and the ground is dry, I will believe you. The next morning, the wool was wet and the ground was dry. But Gideon wanted another sign. He said to God, Now, if the wool is dry and the ground is wet, I will be sure that you have chosen me. The next morning, God made the wool dry and the ground wet. And now Gideon was sure. He said, God, I will do whatever you say. Over 30,000 men wanted to join Gideon's army. That is too many, God said. He showed Gideon how to win with only 300 men. The plan sounded strange. You can see Gideon is looking a little bit confused. Only 300? The plan sounded strange, but Gideon trusted God. During the night, Gideon and his men surrounded the enemy camp. They blew trumpets, and smashed clay jars. And they waved burning torches in the air, and their enemies were frightened. This must be a huge army, they thought. So they ran away. God's people had won. No matter how unlikely it seems, God can always make a way for us to be with him. Sometimes we forget about God, just like the Israelites. And God made a way for us to be with him too, through Jesus. If we believe in Jesus, then we get to have God close to us as well. Let's take a moment to give thanks right now. Dear Lord God, thank you so much for sending Jesus to make a way for us to be close to you. Please help us to remember you and to follow you. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for defeating sin on the cross and for coming back to life. Help us to follow you in Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Thank you so much for joining us for Storytime. I can't wait to see you all for church on Sunday. Until then, have a good one.